Hello, it's Sean again, coming back with a Sean Saturdays. It's me thing, I promise you. So I'm doing my the tag I made. The the you can't say I didn't try tag, which I made by myself again because I like making stuff, which is fun. So the the first prompt is the book I should DNF, and that was Secret Runners of New York. It has portals, it has time travel, it follows rich teenagers. It's kind of okay, but then like the main antagonist could have just been solved really simply. Yeah, just don't read it. It's oh, you do read it or don't just don't don't pick it up. Next prompt is book is a book in published in a series with a book that I've read first in the series it's all currently published and that is uh, Darren Chan Stephen Ar Arter which is also one of the first books I ever read a series I definitely first definitely one of the series that I definitely first started reading but I've still never finished it even though it's been published for many many a year I don't know when this was published actually uh, in fact 2008 so at least 12 years since I read the last book and we have I have the whole finished series uh, next prompt is a uh, most type author that I just can't stand it's Holly Black read the Cruel Prince series should not have and the fact that this book is the final book in a series and the hardback is like really really short the hardback is 308 pages for a final series in a mythological fae story it just makes no sense there's a whole section it's a whole epic well it's epic ish fantasy about fae and romance and it just just not good just don't even bother with it next prompt is genre I just don't read and that's that's romance. I rarely read it. Um, it's just not really anything that I've have interest in. The next one is book slash series I can't even finish, and that is Narconomics. This edition is like my quite beat up one. It's got weird peeling on the back. I think I've started it. I don't even know. Like so many times, I just it's a non-fiction-ish book but I just I just can't finish it I got it when it came out I got like a slightly early copy because I found it in a shop slightly early and I just haven't really ever finished reading it which, which is surprising because I've had it for such a long long amount of time and I've still not finished reading it and I I'm sure I have at least two copies of this book because I've lost this copy because it's quite beat up and I'm gonna finish off reading this copy because it's quite beat up and then have the nice new one on display the next prompt for the you can't say I didn't even try tag is the uh, the Red Rising. We have Red Rising in a lovely hardcover. But what we really need to match our other Red Rising is a UK hardcover. This is an American hardcover. It's so hard to find the UK hardcover. I can literally find proofs online on, in, on eBay more regularly than I can find the UK hardcover of Red Rising. Which makes no sense because you'd think that the proofs are harder to find. But not. They are not. Alas, they are not at all. It's a bit annoying because we have a lovely US hardcover in the UK, 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 UK. So, yeah, one day we'll have a matching set of Red Risings. I have to get paperbacks for that. The next prompt for You Can't Say I Didn't Try is author that keeps getting recommended to me, and that is James Patterson. We've read. I've read at least one of the books with my partner, and. I've read some other books. We have a lot of his just random books because he has the NYPD Red, the um, the number series, I don't know what it's called. He has the Max and Ride series, which my sister really likes, and I tried reading, didn't like at all. Ugh, yeah, just people keep recommending him to me, even though I've told them I don't, I'm not interested, and I've read some stuff, and I just don't get on with him. And these people that recommend me also have what I would say are good 
taste in books because they also recommended good books to us. But they just, they just not. I just don't get on with his writing style, whatever it is. I'm just not a big fan of it. Next one is a uh, similar to the one about Red Rising. It's uh, books that you have a that are much nicer in foreign languages. And for that, I'm putting the Witcher covers because I would love to own them. I'd love to try reading them, but I can't read Polish. And I've read. And I've read a couple of the first, well, the short stories in the first four or five books. I don't know how many short stories are actually in the Witcher books when they're printed. But yeah, like the 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 Polish covers are really nice, and then the UK covers or US covers, the, the weird Netflix and video game ones are just awful. Like mean, they they just, they need some some uh, some good covers, especially how popular they've gotten in the past couple of years. And this is my uh, uh, secret shame. Kind of. It's a book that I haven't, book book a uh, book that I've only watched the film or TV adaption, and that is the Maze Runner. I own the whole first four books of the Maze Runner in this nice edition. Alice owns them. I have a couple other copies, from, like fancy hard. We have a fancy hardback of one of them up somewhere that's signed, I think. But um, I don't know if I'm gonna ever read these. I have them. The films were. Okay, but teenagers in the teenager YA dystopia. I don't know. I'm not sure if I. I think I'm just not interested interested in it that much these days. And the uh, next one is a book that I wouldn't even watch if it was adapted into a, a film or a movie. What was that? But yeah, it's the uh, the Cruel Prince series again by Holly Black. You can tell. Maybe I don't like Holly Black, and I. Yeah, I do think I do. But if they ever make this into a TV show, which I can imagine they probably would try to, because the first two were okay, but the third one was awful. But I just, I won't watch that. I won't go see it in cinema. I won't watch it on Netflix if it comes out. I won't watch it on TV. I don't really watch TV. I read too much. So it's fine. So the, excuse me, Bumblebee. So the uh, penultimate prompts is uh, books that should have been left at one, and you shouldn't you shouldn't even read the second one. Or yeah, series series that shouldn't have been series should have just been one. I'm doing Evermore, no, Everless. The continuation is Evermore, but when you get to the prologue, wherever it is, oh that sorry the epilogue, you can just uh, just like pull them out. I would on this one, but it's a lovely sprayed edges. And I would have to rather cut them out. If I had one didn't have um, sprayed edges, I would have absolutely pulled it out earlier. But I have not. But yeah, make better one or two, or even ten. Maybe even ten. Like this probably shouldn't have been ten books, really. But make them less of a series when it's not needed, especially. Right, and the last prompt. The, the last prompt for, at least you can say I tried, oh you, oh you can't say I didn't try prompt, tag, thing, list, video, whatever this is, is the um, uh, trope that really puts you off reading a book. It's a love triangle and they're rarely done well in literature, unfortunately, or any movies or TVs. Just just leave love triangles out, we don't need them at all. I think there's, is, is there a love triangle? In Holly Black? I don't know. Yeah, can't, maybe that's why I don't like Holly Black. She adds love triangles. There's love triangles that aren't necessary. Especially it's quite obvious if it's a love triangle on the outcome. It's kind of obvious to the reader. Especially when like the series like further down the line. And the book series is finished. Like, you, all, you know what's going to happen because everyone's talking about it. So no, it just seems like an unnecessary like subplot people add to their books. Yeah, this is the... You can't say I didn't try book tag. Because it's all about stuff that I tried to do. And would love to do. But I can't quite do. Um, you can tag yourself. I'll have Alice doing this video tomorrow for you guys, but later today for me while we're filming. And this is the 19th, so yeah, 19th day of Bookmas. So there's only a couple of days left until Christmas, and then we'll have the New Year section of Bookmas, and then we'll probably carry on because why read when you can just film more and more and more? Um, if you if you like the video. Leave a uh, 
We'll just take Princess. We leave a lovely dinosaur. You see dinosaurs? Le leave a dinosaur picture. Emo emoji the emoji down below. Because they're cool. Uh, you can tag yourself. You can tag your friends. Um, the prompts will be down below in a better way of wording than I've spoken them. Yeah, I will. Uh, I'll see you next week. Bye.